Hello, I'm Katrina Fox, journalist, author, publisher and media coach, here to help you share your story and make a difference in life and business. And in this episode, I'm going to be answering the question, how do I know when I'm ready to be featured in the media? You know, one thing that I hear a lot, particularly when I'm out and about at events, um, one thing I hear a lot, particularly from small business owners and entrepreneurs, is they say they want to grow their business in one breath, but then they say to me, oh, but I'm not ready for media yet. And it's interesting because I think those two statements are actually contradictory. Um, because if you want to grow your business, if you genuinely want more leads, more sales, and, and to grow your business, then you are ready for media because the fastest way to grow your business is through media coverage. Now social media is fantastic, I'm not knocking it. Um, it's a great way to build your community, but it's a slow way. Um, unless you're a multinational, then it might not be so slow. Um, but generally for most business owners and entrepreneurs, um, building a genuine social uh, media community, it does take time, okay? So I fully uh, encourage you to do that. But what I'm saying is if you want to grow your business, and particularly if you want to grow your business fast, then you need to get some media coverage. So when I hear I'm not ready for media yet, what I'm hearing is that people love the sound of you know, being featured in the media, being in all the, you know, the big, big shows and everything's going great and they become a little bit of a celebrity and the go-to expert. They love the idea of it, the fantasy of it, but they're actually afraid to take the first step in order to get to that uh, position. Um, so underneath it all, I think it's, it's fear. When people say I'm not ready for, uh, for the media or to be featured in the media, what they're really saying is um, I'm, I'm scared to. And that's okay. It, it's okay to be scared and then to move beyond that, to feel the fear and do it anyway, as um, the great, that great uh, self-help book said, Susan Jeffers. Um, so what I think the fear, where I think the fear comes from is the fear that you've got to go from having absolutely no media experience whatsoever to all of a sudden appearing immediately on CNN or Fox or A Current Affair or The Today Show or The New York Times. So you're going literally from no media coverage to a, a major a coverage in a major media outlet. Now look, sometimes that can happen and sometimes people are happy to do that and they're excited about it. If that fills you with absolute terror and dread, that's fine because you don't need to take that massive step, or that massive leap. What you can do is take small steps. And so when you say you're not ready for media, you're probably not re ready for you know, that massive media coverage by big mainstream outlets, but you are ready for something smaller. So what I mean by smaller is local, think local. Um, so local newspaper, your local radio, local TV. Um, they're always looking for stories, you know, particularly obviously for people who, who live in that area. They're, they're always looking for, the, um, for things to cover. So that's a great way for you to dip your toe in the water. And if you stuff it up, you know, you haven't made a complete arse of yourself in front of the whole world. Um, also think of uh, things like podcasts um, and YouTube channels like this one. The media landscape has changed so, so much. I mean, even in the 15 years since I trained as a journalist, it's changed massively. You know, you've got podcasting, you've got people doing their own TV shows on YouTube, uh, you've got blogs, you know, specialist niche blogs, and, and a lot of these have really big readerships, you know, because they're very targeted, they're very uh, niche, they've actually got, you know, their particular audience who are hungry for what they're sharing. Um, and, you know, those are a great place for you to start and to, as I say, to dip your toe in the water, to practice doing interviews um, and seeing how you go. And it's no great disaster if you completely, you know, fluff it up. Um, so I'm going to be quite tough today and I'm going to say actually you are ready for media because I think it's time to actually ditch that excuse because I think sometimes it is an excuse. Um, if you want to share your message with the world, um, and I'm assuming that anyone, if you're watching my channel, um, that you are a socially conscious business owner or entrepreneur or change maker, and by socially conscious I mean that your business, uh, it doesn't exploit people, harm animals, or destroy the planet. 
So if you're running a business along those lines and you want to make a positive difference in the world, then you're actually being selfish by keeping it all to yourself and not taking that step to get yourself out there into the media. Because it's all great if you've got these great products or services or skills, but if you're not sharing them and not getting them out there and people don't know about them, then you're doing the rest of the world a disservice. Um, you know, I was talking to a coach about this and, and, and they said pretty much the same thing is that, uh, you know, we are being selfish if we keep our gifts or we, we let fear uh, run our lives to the point where we're too scared to share our stories or share our messages or share our skills. So it does take a, a bit of a leap of faith, uh, but I, I do believe that, you know, if you want to share your story and get out there, build your socially conscious business, then you are ready for media. Because I mean, let's look at, let's face it, right? There's massive multinational corporations out there. Some of them are fine, but a lot of them, um, you know, they have no qualms about exploiting people, harming animals or destroying the planet. And do you think that they are a bit worried, oh, should we put a press release out, you know, to get some positive media coverage? No, they're just going to do it. So it's your duty <laughs> to, to counter that and, you know, to put your beautiful messages and skills and, and healing and transformations or products and services, whatever it is you do that's done in a socially conscious way, it's your duty to get yourself out there. Um, so get over the fear, do, feel the fear and do it anyway, start small, start local and start getting yourself in the media because you are ready. If you enjoyed this video share it with your friends and on your social media networks and feel free to connect with me on any of the social media networks you can see on the screen. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, you can leave comments below and you can also leave questions below and I'll do my best to answer them. Remember to sign up for my email list where you can receive tips on how to get into the media, ethical marketing, PR, storytelling and creativity. And you can sign up at katrinafox.com. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.